Oh, hello, good morning business builders. It is Top Tip Tuesday. Oh, look at that. I just got to edit my uh, heading down below. It's actually week five. We are here for Top Tip Tuesday. And um, I do have some comments from people or some questions, which is fantastic. So thanks for sending them in. I love it when we have questions. Hopefully, uh, let me just put the mic there so you can hear me. Good morning, Suzanne. Can you hear me okay? Um, all right, let's get straight into it, shall we, folks? Um, at the end of me answering your questions, I've got another little top tip for you about something I'm going to throw in next month, which is going to be a short, sharp 30-minute um, session at the start of every month from here on in, just to help everyone get focused for the month. So I'll tell you more about that. Um, yes, all good, says Suzanne. Thanks, Suzanne, for always being here and allowing me to do my sound checks with you. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's go to the top of the board. We've got Svico up first. So Svico says, hey, Jodes, just wondering how I can prepare for June this week, especially in terms of a sales strategy. I feel like I've been all over the place this month and therefore didn't achieve much. So Zviko, I think it's very much about what we talked about on the last coaching call that you were on. Number one, we want to speak specifically to your target audience. So we've identified that is going to be your thought leaders. Number two, we want to actually position yourself as someone who has value, who can actually provide thought leaders with practical tips, strategies, and um, results. Of course, the number one thing is we wanna provide results. And number three is we want to actually be sharing some tips and tricks around what you can do and how you can help people and get that consistent flow going. Always have your call to action. Remember we talked about this. So here's a formula I use with my clients. By the way, if you'd like a copy of the process, put um, type process below or whatever words you want to use. So we want to be creating at least a couple of weeks of constant content that speaks specifically to thought leaders about how you can help them. The other thing that I would recommend doing just because everyone that's doing them is crushing it right now with them is a webinar. So by the end of the month, let's schedule you to do a 60 minute masterclass on a topic that's really going to help your thought leaders. At the end of that, let's have it lead into a pitch, which will be either a group program that you can take people through, or it can be a one-on-one -on -one solution. So the most important things, Vico, is get really clear on what do you want to sell this month? Is it a group program or is it a one-on-one -on -one solution or are you going to keep it open? And I think before you try and fill a group program, you need to have a community around you of interested people. So if you don't have that community of interested leads around you, let's build the community. It only takes a couple of weeks of being consistent and showing up all the time in Facebook and LinkedIn, positioning yourself to be able to speak to those people. And then I would definitely recommend doing a webinar of some sort. The other thing that's really important is to get some runs on the board and be super, super specific about what you help people achieve. So I would go right back to the basics and you'll find this in the Lifestyle Business Builder module three, I think it is, where we talk about products and services. You need to be really clear on where are the thought leaders that you're speaking to at right now? So what place are they stuck in? And where do you help them get to? What specifically do you help them achieve? And what are the steps along the way? Now this becomes not only your program structure, but your content plan. So you just start sharing content about that program structure. And sure enough, the right people uh, will resonate with it hopefully, and then you'll start to get some leads and then you can offer them um, the opportunity to work with you one on one. So I hope that helps Svico. Obviously, we've got the coaching call um, this morning. If you want to jump on that 10am and we can really nut that out a little bit deeper as well. Um, okay, so that's Svico done. Thanks for the question, Svico. Ali's got an, a question up next. We can't see her, but I know this was from Ali. So Ali says, how many emails is too many emails in a lead gen nurture sequence? Um, this is for her Crush It Daily tool, which is an awesome downloadable tool. Um, 
I'm putting together the sequence for it, but there's 10 lessons. Is 10 emails too much? And do I have a call to action in any of them or just nurture to begin with? Fantastic question, Ali. So 10 is not too much, definitely not. But there's a couple of things we wanna do strategically around how we structure the journey of the nurture sequence. So the first one will always be the welcome. Hey, how are you? Thanks to have, great to have you here. Here's how it's gonna roll. Here's the value I'm going to give you. I would recommend then the next day you send them a spear email. So remember that's the technique that we learned from Taki, um, who learned it from his mate, who I don't know who that is. And it's the short personal expecting a response email. So in that, you will actually just ask a simple question. Hey, Ali, um, what's the number one goal you're working on this month? And that's it from Ali, and then you have them reply. When you do it, I would press enter, enter, enter so that your footer is all the way down the bottom and they only actually see just a really personalized short email from you. In your spear aim email, remove your header, remove everything that looks like it's come from a system and just make it super short, personal. Um, so it's just you checking in saying, hey, by the way, what's the number one goal you focused on? Or hey, by the way, what is your favorite morning ritual? Um, or hey, by the way, what do you think of the Crush It Daily? Or what do you like about the Crush It Daily so far? Any simple question that's expecting them to give you a direct response back will be perfect. And then from there, you can use the power of the PS. So in your PS, you can always have PS if you wanna chat with me about this in every email so that there's a call to action. And then in each of the Crush It Dailies, I would put a soft call to action not directly being a call to action. And we talked a lot about this in the email marketing copy fix class. So if you haven't watched the copy fix class on email marketing, you can go and watch that. But in the call to actions, you wanna give them a call to action, meaning something you recommend they do to help them implement the strategies of the Crush It Daily. So call to action doesn't always have to be, hey, buy my thing, hey, book this call, hey, do something with me. A great call to action is about, hey, okay, now that you've learned how to um, practice joy, I want you to go out and do this, which is them practicing the joy or whatever the thing might be that that day's Crush It Daily lesson has them do. So 10 emails is definitely not too much. I probably wouldn't do one a week because 10 um, weeks, you know, you'll probably lose them. But I would do maybe two or three a week. So it's three or four weeks of constant, hey, here's value, here's value, here's value. Um, PS power at the bottom, and then your spear email at the front to get a response. And I would make sure that in all of your emails, that's not just for Ali, but for everyone, you keep them short, but you're always looking for them to reply back. So asking questions is a really good thing. You'll notice again in the copy fix class I did on email marketing, I talked about the value of opening with questions. So you get people straight away feeling like they're talking to you. And when you structure your emails, Ali, um, you write really, really well anyway, but just make sure that you're always writing to just one person. Um, so yeah, get it happening, sounds awesome. The other thing you can do, I think you've got a YouTube channel now as well, is your daily uh, lesson can actually be a link to a video on YouTube. So rather than you feeling like you have to write a bunch of stuff, you can actually have, here's lesson one on how to crush it daily. And then you have a little screenshot picture of the cover of your video and it links directly to that video lesson that sits on YouTube for anyone to find it. The YouTube video lesson can also have a link to download the Crush It Daily. So that way you've got people finding you from both ends as well. So a really nice way to use one tool and get this big momentum around it. You're getting people to YouTube, you're getting people from YouTube, hopefully onto Crush It Daily, into your list, etc., etc. Um, all right, thanks for the question, Ali. That was a good one. Next up, we've got Adair. Woohoo, says Adair. She's had an awesome month and I need to shrink this down, is almost at her targets and things are feeling 
easy and effortless. Adair, I am loving it. And actually, we've got Adair on live as well. She says, um, sunny here in Queensland, enjoying a beautiful SA uh, sunrise vicariously through Facebook this morning. Oh, that's nice <laughs> that someone's giving you a view of the sunrise through Facebook. Um, so anywho, my question is to maintain and continue to level up, how do you manage between the balance of sales, marketing and delivery of service? Oh, Adair, it's the golden question. How do we manage the balance? You know what? To be honest, I don't think I do manage the balance so well. I uh, built a program, Lifestyle Business Builder, which is in is is big enough for me to throw myself into if I get enough clients in it. And it can basically, I can ride that wave all year without having to get students in all of the time. I am restructuring as we level up. So we'll be taking only five students a month. And the way that I am looking to balance this Adair, so the system that I'm about to set up is three different working funnels. Um, so I'll have a funnel with an ad. Now, here's the thing. My ads account has been shut down from the Jody Nevid um, as well. The reason being the six-figure plan. So Facebook do not like anything that talks about numbers. It's frustrating because I went into Black Belt and I got some coaching on that and they said it should totally work. You should run with it. Test it, test it. Um other people are doing it, I know that for a fact, but for some reason, I can't get it across the line. So once I've got that working though, I will have a Facebook ad that leads to an automated um, tutorial, masterclass, where they can watch on demand. And it's basically me teaching them how to build a, um, a lifestyle business. It'll be the content that I've always taught in my webinar. It'll just be on demand that people can watch it. And then after that, people will be invited to apply to join the Lifestyle Business Builder. So that's one way in. The other thing is every month I'm going to commit to doing a live webinar. So every month there'll be a live uh, webinar and I'll probably mix up the topics that I'll do. In fact, I'm doing that for the next three months, probably every two weeks I'll do a live webinar so that I can test which content lands the most and which one ends up becoming the automated one. Which name of it, the content will always be fairly similar, but what's the name I need to call it, what's the ad that converts best, and what's the one that has the most people excited to apply to work with me. So having a funnel that's a on-demand uh, webinar as well as a combination of some live webinars, I think is a great way to consistently be building. Um, I'm going out to a new audience. We're actually doing Facebook advertising to attract new people to it. I've also spoken to, and for me, it's just about um, time versus money. I'd rather invest money than spend all my time doing organic if you don't have money to invest, I recommend you get a really good organic strategy. Now I can tell you, um, my laptop died last week, so you haven't seen as many lives from me, but the, the three or four weeks before that, sorry, I'm spitting, I'm getting so excited to dare. The three or four weeks before my laptop died, I was very consistent and I was doing a lot of live videos. From that, as soon as I did an email out to my email list and said, hey, the boot camp's coming up. By the way, um, join me for the business boot camp. We've just about sold that. We've only got one place left. But in there, I also had a PS if you want to book a strategy session with me, um, click this link. Now, just from that email, I've had five people book in a strategy session. Two of them I had last week, and both of them uh, have decided to join the Lifestyle Business Builder program at the private level, which is amazing. So organic definitely works, and both of those people on that call said, I've been watching your stuff, and I really wanna work with you. So the organic definitely works, folks. Um, so I'm gonna be keeping up just daily, here's a video, here's some content, let me teach you how. And then uh, thirdly, I've now that the life raft is over, scaled right back to my traditional Tuesday to Thursday work week. So Mondays, I'm booking out stuff just for me. And Fridays is my learning and development day where I'll sit down in my office on my lounge over there. It's got a lot of junk on it at the moment. I'll have myself a cup of tea 
and I'll watch stuff and I'll learn. So that's my balance to it all. In short, I would say get one funnel working. Um, I'm also going to be hiring Suzanne Ingleton's son to do some SEO for me on my new website once that's launched. It's so close. Um, so I've been doing a lot of stuff in the back end to really ramp things up so that the next six months will be much easier. I've deliberately taken a hit for the last two months on sales. Now, fortunate for, fortunately for me, my business is structured so that I at least do about 20 grand a month without trying too much. Now that sound, might sound like a lot of money that comes in without trying too much, and it is, but the reality is when you take away your GST and when you take away all your bass and your, the, I pay myself a salary and super, and then I take away the overall expenses of the expensive coaches and consultants that I'm hiring, it's that's about on the money. So I actually need to be pulling in at least 40 or 50 grand to have some significant profits um, because I'm really good at spending the money back in the business. So in short, um, yeah, balance having one organic um, strategy where you just consistently share valuable content in a short, sharp, shiny way once a month or once a fortnight, a live webinar that's specifically designed to educate new people and convert into your program. That's very um, low effort, high reward. And I'm not having any ads at the moment helping me fill my webinars. It's just through LinkedIn and Facebook and email marketing. And I think as well, if you can get a funnel working and put some money on it, at the moment, Facebook advertising, if you can get it right, is super cheap. So you can get a really good uh, return on your investment. I don't teach Facebook ads and how to do it. I always outsource it. And I have to tell you, this is not an area that we are having any great luck in right now because our ads account keeps getting shut down. Um, Martine is getting amazing results in a super cheap way, just building an audience and stretching our reach through the Jodie Nevid page. But, um, we got shut down as soon as we tried to do the six figure plan. We, we, we did many attempts and the, the whole thing got shut down. So I recommend that you either do a tutorial on how to do Facebook ads, um, get Facebook to like you by just boosting some simple posts, super cheap, couple of dollars a day, and then maybe have an event and boost that and then actually get someone on board to do a good strategy with you or, um, do, do a course on how to do that. The reality is you only need one good ad going to one automated webinar and it becomes a funnel that you can literally turn off and turn on. When you get that working, it is absolute gold. To get that working, it can cost you a lot of time and money in testing. And you've got to be prepared to test things, to have people give you advice to do that and for it to all excuse my language, fuck up. And then for you to actually go, okay, we've now lost another two weeks. Ah, what do I do next? Like that's literally the space I'm in right now with it. So yeah, Facebook advertising is um, tricky. I'm speaking with a lot of people who are having a lot of problems with it at the moment, but I'm also speaking to some people who are absolutely smashing it because they've found their sweet spot and it's actually bringing them just amazing amounts of business. So there is a way, but I can't tell you that I've fully cracked the code on that one yet. All right, now Jen's got a question. How do you end the email sequence? Uh, great question, Jen. You don't end it, you just put them onto your normal list then. So once they've gone to the end, you don't need to have a big, hey, and that's the end of me talking to you. We've now finished the 10 lessons from the Crush It Daily. Instead, what you would do is just have it finish off with a call to action, by the way, here's an opportunity to book in with me. And then you just have your system then automatically add them onto your main email list. And if you're doing the right thing, which I know all of you are, you will be engaging with that email list at least once a week um, or once a fortnight at the very least. You know, a, a lot of people have been very reluctant and very resistant to get the email marketing going. I have to tell you all, it is probably that 
in combination with the stuff that we're doing uh, on social media that is working for us more than anything right now. If we didn't have that, we would really be struggling. So I love my email list and I like um, being able to have it there to just say, hey, this is what's happening. Here's what's coming up. Here's some ideas. What I do need to do with my email list is set up a system where I'm giving it more regular value rather than just giving it more invites to events and, and free things like that. All right, so that is all of the questions, I think. If you're on here live and you have any more questions, please um, post them and I'm happy to answer them. Before I head off for this morning and prepare for the coaching call, which will be 10 till 12, I wanna let you know about a new thing that I'm going to be doing at the start of each month. Trying to find a regular time for this will be tricky because um, it just is. <laughs> but I'm thinking it'll be a Tuesday morning or a Thursday afternoon on the first Tuesday morning of each month. Basically, Lara and I will go through my calendar and work it out. But next Tuesday will be the first one. It's going to be a 30 minute planning session at the start of every month and we're calling it Level Up. And you will bring your monthly, your big fat monthly placemat to the Level Up. Um, let's see if I've got a picture of it here. I don't think I do, do I? Oh yeah, I do. There we go, look at that. <laughs> You'll bring your big fat monthly placemat to every Level Up session. They will be recorded, you will be able to catch the replay. But the idea is we will spend 30 minutes together at the start of every month, leveling in, reflecting on what we did from last month and filling out your monthly placemat for the coming month. I wanna get everyone working in monthly cycles. So they're really focused on their three big missions for the month and they then know how to break that down into week by week um, goals and strategies. In those week by week goals and strategies or the, you know, the little targets that you'll achieve, you have the coaching calls to check in with every single week as well as the Missionary Monday, Wake Up Wednesday and Finito Friday posts that you can stay accountable to. to. So the entire system for your accountability now and to keep yourself on focus is absolutely going to be there for you. We've got the tools, we've got the support, we've got the structure, we've got the continuity rolling out. The only thing that could be missing is you. If you plug into this system and you do the stuff, I guarantee you, you will get the results. If you unplug from the system and you don't show up and you don't do the stuff, then you may stay stuck where you are right now. Everybody that's working with me through this system, whether they be the private coaching or they're showing up to the regular coaching calls, they are moving the needle. They are getting further th than where they are right now. So it's super important. I really want you to be a big part of this. If you can't watch the lives, it will always be shared back into, um, I'm gonna do it through Ecamm. So what I'll do is I'll share it back into, um, the Facebook group and you can watch it from there and complete it anyway. So the first one's going to be next week, 9 a.m. on Tuesday, and then we'll look at my diary and we'll see how we go. I'm plugging, <laughs> says Suzanne. She is always plugging. You are plugged in, my friend. And you know what? It's paying off in a huge way. So I'm so glad to have you plugged in. All right, folks, someone's ringing my doorbell. It's Gracie. I've got to head off and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.